really bad part. This is my kid's room. Christopher Frazier is a former resident at the Goose Creek Inn on I-65. This is dripping. Deplorable conditions on everything. Frazier says he worked at the front desk. I lied through my teeth to tell him, you know, hey, you'll be, you'll be okay if you stay here. And that it was never true. When new management recently took over, Frazier was asked to pay up past due rent or leave. Some people are going to say, man, this guy just basically got fired. Now he's coming back on him. He is vindictive. Is that the case? I'm, if you want to call me vindictive, then so be it. But I mean, I was complicit in renting people rooms there that I knew I was embarrassed to rent people. Frazier has since left the motel, but not before documenting room conditions and then posting his videos to YouTube. Black mold. It's brown. Here's where it's dripped down the side here. It dripped into this plug at one point. Look at all this stuff. I could kill somebody. If you find black mold, you're going to remediate. Well, sure. Robert Moore Jr. owns the Goose Creek Inn. We've never had uh, anything that we thought was dangerous or unethical or unsatisfactory uh, for our tenants. Moore says the motel has a very low occupancy and a good portion of the rooms are sealed off by the fire marshal because of inadequate access to fire exits. Robert Moore says that these are the rooms that Christopher Frazier videotaped and they're not available for rental. You've been cleaning here, for, you worked here for a year. To your knowledge, have we put people in unfit rooms? Not at all. Have we ever put a person in a room with mold in it? No. Nope. To your knowledge? Not that I know of. Right above a, ro a room that you'd rent to somebody leaking into their room. There are some legitimate concerns that he has, uh, but there are others that are uh, a little bit overstated. Some of those rooms that were identified by the complainant were uh, on the second level. Most of the second level isn't usable. We certainly respect the city of Franklin. I've worked with them for years. In Franklin, Andy Cordan, Nashville's News 2 Investigates.